CCB TV presents The Dancing Plague with Victor Hargrave. Today we journey back to the year 1518 to a peculiar event in the annals of history, the Dancing Plague. In the heart of Strasbourg, a city then part of the Holy Roman Empire, a bizarre and unexplained phenomenon unfolded. Our tale begins with a solitary figure, Frau Trophea, stepping onto the streets in July. Without warning or music, she began to dance, a seemingly harmless act, but one that would not cease for days. Her movements were not of joy, but of compulsion, a relentless dance that showed no signs of stopping. As the days passed, Frau Trophea's solo performance turned into a mass event. Dozens, then hundreds of people joined in this involuntary dance. The streets of Strasbourg became a stage for this perplexing spectacle, with citizens dancing until they collapsed from exhaustion. But what could compel these individuals to dance so fervently against their will? Let's delve deeper into the context of this era to uncover potential explanations. The 16th century was a time of hardship, disease, and superstition. Famine and illness were rampant, and the people, deeply religious and superstitious, often sought spiritual explanations for the inexplicable. Some historians suggest that the dancing plague was a result of ergot poisoning. Ergot, a mold that grows on rye, can induce hallucinations and convulsions when consumed in large quantities. However, this theory struggles to explain the sheer number of people affected and the duration of their dancing. Another theory points to the psychological stress of the times. Could this have been a mass psychogenic illness, a physical manifestation of the collective anxiety and despair felt by the people of Strasbourg? The notion of shared stress erupting into a physical phenomenon is not unheard of in history. The religious and cultural landscape of the time also provides clues. Some believe the dancing was a curse sent by St. Vitus, a patron saint believed to have power over movement. In an era where supernatural explanations were often favored over scientific ones, this theory found many believers. Interestingly, the response from the authorities was not to stop the dancing, but to encourage it in the belief that the dancers must continue until the curse lifted. Halls were even set aside for the dancers, musicians hired to play for them, a decision that, in hindsight, seems counterintuitive. The dancing continued for weeks until, as suddenly as it began, it ceased. The reason for its end is as mysterious as its beginning. Was it the intervention of physicians who finally convinced the authorities to change their approach, or did the plague simply run its course? In conclusion, the Dancing Plague of 1518 remains one of history's intriguing mysteries. Was it a medical condition, a psychological reaction, or something more mystical? This event challenges our understanding of the past, blurring the lines between history and legend. History is not just about the past. It's a window to understanding our present. The Dancing Plague reminds us of the complexity of human behavior and the enigmatic nature of historical events. Until next time, keep exploring. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please leave a comment below and share your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps the channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss our future videos. Thanks again for your support, and we'll see you in the next one.